Hello, I'm Iznane and in this video I would like to show you how to get keyboard input from user and also how to move a circle around the screen. We'll use code from the previous episode, by the way. First, let's add another use to make our code a little bit easier to write. Next, let's add constants for screen width and screen height. This will also help us later. Now let's update our Rayleaf setup. I declared constants to be float because it will be more convenient, but size needs integers, so we need to cast it using as keyword. And let's change the title. Now we'll add a struct called ball to store position, speed, radius, and color. And let's create an instance of this ball struct. Let's set position of our ball to be at the middle of the screen. To do this, we just need to divide screen width and screen height by 2. Now let's add remaining values. Let's set speed to 3, radius to 40, and color to green. And now it's time for hand -lick input. First function we'll use would be X key down, which checks if user is holding a key. In this case it would be right arrow. So if user holds right arrow key, we would like to add a speed to the X position of the ball. Now let's add code for remaining arrow keys. Now let's also use another function which will be is key pressed. It will work only once if key is pressed. In this example, let's make so the space changes color of the ball. If color of the ball would be green, let's change it to yellow. And if it's yellow or anything else, let's just change it back to the green. And the last line of code would be drawing the circle. We'll use the draw circle v function which takes a position as vector 2, a radius, and a color. Now it's time to try it out. And there we go. We have our ball, or circle, whatever you want to call it. And we can move using arrow keys. So if we'll hold arrow keys, it's moving. And if we'll press space, it will change color. But if we'll hold the space, uh, nothing will happen. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next videos. Bye!